Hello and welcome back to my channel where we start a lot of projects and we never actually finish any. Today, I will be educating you on how to automate a Chromium instance from Python. It just so happens that today, the browser in question is the Brave browser. And when you automate certain functions in the Brave browser, you accumulate basic attention tokens. So uh, while I am educating you on how to uh, automate and connect to the Chrome browser, browser via the Chrome driver from Python and how to perform some basic functionality. Just note that this is this would definitely be against the terms of service of the Brave browser and also the website that we'll be testing on, twitch.com, likely also against their terms of service. Purely educational here, right? So let's go through this step by step. First things first, uh, you do need to go to uh, the Chrome driver.chromium.org uh, downloads page. Uh, there's a link inside of here. You need to identify what version of Brave browser you have. So in my case, I have uh, ma uh, Major 108. And so I downloaded that Chromium driver and I placed it inside of the root. So I do have an executable that I downloaded and put into the root. I didn't want to include that in the repo. So you have to go get it yourself. That's the first, that's really all you have to do. Other than that, you can just straight up just start executing this. Uh, what are we going to uh, achieve? What's the objective here? The objective is going to be, uh, we're going to emulate three functions in the Python script. And then there's one function that we would need to emulate outside of the Python script uh, to get the full automation, test automation, feature functionality to really command and control a Chromium uh, browser, right? So first we're going to emulate um, opening and closing tabs. Then we're going to emulate clicking on some UI controls, and then we're going to emulate navigation. And we're going to drop in some randomness, right? Uh, the Brave browser, uh, just so you know, there's uh, from a testing perspective, uh, there seems to be some additional functionality or some additional uh, validation that it goes through. It, I think it's looking for organic HID device behavior, like mouse movements, like legitimate. HID movements coming in from the port, the serial port. So uh, I couldn't find a way to emulate that in Python here, but I did find a way. I just got a four dollar Raspberry Pi Pico off Amazon, and uh, and then you, I provided you this script. You can straight up just download and install Circuit Python onto that Pico. Which, by the way, here's a video link on how to do that yourself. Uh, and then you just put this script on there, and then this emulates mouse movements as an HID device, and so. Uh, that seems to be all that's required to fully automate uh, a Brave browser. So let's just run through it. So first things first, you're going to need Selenium and requests installed. So there's that. Uh, we're going to bring in all of our imports. Uh, we're going to set all of our variables. You really don't need to adjust these. These are pretty generic for the Brave browser but they're there if you need to adjust them. Uh, here we're gonna create a launcher and we're going to launch the Brave browser. And now we are going to connect to the Brave browser. So it's already got a Twitch channel open and we're gonna go ahead and perform a, a test navigation out to Google. It waits five seconds and then it just confirms. It'll tell you here, right, that yes, we're on the Google tab, right? So there we go. Uh, important, popping tabs via Selenium uh, seems to be the only way to do it is to actually invoke a JavaScript to go and open a tab, which is technically a pop up. So from Google.com and to use this script, right from Google.com and Twitch.com, you will need to go and accept pop ups from those two domains because we will be invoking pop ups via JavaScript. So to pop a tab, there it is. I've already accepted the uh, pop up. So basically it pops a tab and closes automatically. Uh, for activity purposes, to emulate activity, uh, we are going to click the channel points button in Twitch. So if you're familiar with Twitch, there's a little channel points button that pops up, I, I don't know, some interval, right? And uh, it, by clicking that kind of just induces activity, right? It was just a quick thing to identify and click and it's pretty easy to find because it's got this uh, element claim bonus, right? So. Um, and then here's here's the loop, right? So this is pretty much it. So we're gonna uh, just start the loop, right? It's gonna go through a list of Twitch streams and just every certain interval, it's gonna keep an eye out for that claim buttons button, button, <laughs> button, and it's gonna click it. And so that'll uh, induce that behavior. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop this because we don't need to be uh, watching Twitch. 
So uh, the only thing you need to do is after this script is now running, this is when you would plug in your Raspberry Pi to emulate HID movements. And it seems that's all that's required. So it seems like popping tabs, clicking that button to just induce that type of behavior, like you're clicking like an HTML element and then page navigations every five to 10 minutes. That seems to be all that's required, plus the HID mouse movements, which in this case, I mean, all we're doing is we're moving up and down and diagonally every 10 seconds. It seems like that's all that's required to trick the Brave browser into believing that there's somebody using it and therefore it should deliver pop-ups. Um, by the way, interesting fact, to claim a Brave reward, you don't actually have to click the pop-ups. You don't have to open the app, the ad. It just needs to pop up in your system tray as a little notification, that's it. And just by having it pop up and then decay out, go away on its own, the Brave browser rewards you. So that'll be interesting to see, maybe Brave will respond to this video and say, oh, you know, I, I, who knows what they would say actually, because you're not actually viewing the ad. So an advertiser paid for you to see that ad, but you never saw the ad, right? So, I mean, at the time of recording this, if you go and like check out the basic attention token, it's it's basically a drop 90% over the year. <laughs> so who knows which direction it's gonna go. Um, may, maybe their investors are onto it, that it's not a complete Web3 product. I don't know, that's my opinion. I feel like a lot of what they're doing can be accomplished in Web2. Um, I'm not feeling the Web3 magic, but you know, maybe, maybe this is, maybe I'm late to the game, maybe a lot of people already know this, but it seems like just popping tabs, uh, tabs clicking on UI controls and navigating with a little bit of randomness and simulating HID behavior. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. You just let that run on a laptop or a desktop or a server or whatever, and you will just generate basic attention token. Again, this is purely educational. It would definitely be against the terms of service of both Twitch and Brave. So, you know, if you were to use this, use it at your own risk. Maybe you learned how to do this for a career and you're doing test automation as part of your job. Maybe that's what you should be taking away from this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.